What's up guys, it's been a while, but we're back with another tutorial and today I'm going to show you guys how to do remixes. So when you're starting a remix, I've got a super effective way of creating your remix and making it absolutely awesome from the get-go. So the first thing we're going to do, and you should have learned this already if you've watched one of my early tutorials, we're going to do a structure. So how we do that, we're going to choose a track. And it wants to be a track that's of a similar style to what we're making. There's no point in choosing a house track if you're going to make a 140 trance track. So let's go to, if I can find it, I'm going to go to Dropbox. Where's Dropbox at? You can see I'm nice and organized. Really important to be organized. When you're doing this, and you're being serious about it. Now I want to do an uplifting track. So we want to choose a track that A, has not been edited, because that takes away the point of doing the structure. And B, we want to choose a track that's like... Alt 4 plus Alt 4. Let's stick that in, and we're just going to copy the structure. Now, if you don't know, and you're watching this video for the first time without understanding why I do the structure trick, doing this little trick is very beneficial for a number of reasons. First of all, it allows us to get a structure, which is, you know, a great track. So no one can turn around and say, that structure is not good enough. Because, you know, you could turn around and say, well, actually, you know, it's the same structure as Alt 4, so you can go and suck it. Anyway, the second reason why this is so good is because you know where you're going next. As a producer, I'm sure you know that you've got stuck before and you've kind of, you've got lost and you're not sure where to go next or what to do next. So you kind of get stuck in this loop of working on the same fucking intro time and time again. And yeah, it's pretty boring. Now, the third thing is because you can see the ending in sight. In a minute, you're going to see me copy the structure. And when we've deleted this, we're going to have my entire track structure done. And it means that when I'm working on a track, I can see where the end is. So it's more of a psychological aspect. And for me, the psychological aspects of producing is completely overlooked. And yeah, I think that things like this make a massive difference. So I shut up rambling now and get cracking on. Now you make sure that the BPM of a track is the same as the track itself. So we're one for eight. The second thing you need to do is zoom in and just delete anything at the intro. So we just, we just want to kick. Just roughly. Now what we're going to do, go to our kick track. 